Hey, how you doing? We're carrying on with the Danish gambit of doing a couple of videos on this. Slightly different lines, okay? Um, and here we're going to finish off on the Copenhagen, right? So we've got um, the center game, takes, offer another pawn, takes, ignore the uh, Pac-Man pawn, and we develop our bishop, and takes again. We have the full Danish with uh, bishop takes on b2. So quickly recapping, we've, we've had a look at the d6 move, we've had a look at knight to f6, and um, we've had a look at bishop b4 check, okay? So we're gonna carry on with bishop b4 check, which is the Copenhagen defense. Now from here, I'm suggesting you play knight to d2, so that we don't get in the way of this bishop that is now looking at that pawn and the rook behind it, okay? And we will see that come in handy very shortly. Okay, so from here, um, there's there's a few approaches, and I think in the previous video we looked at all um, the options with the knight coming out first. Now, what if the queen now comes out to g5? So my other video is going to be on when black plays the queen out to g5 without this bishop here, so the bishop's still at home, okay? But slightly different lines, but some similar themes, but it's a really, couple of really, really good traps in, in this particular variation. So when that queen comes out, just as if the bishop isn't there, you develop your knight to f3 and offer up this g2 pawn, okay? Now, if black takes the pawn, basically he's lost. Because you play rook g1, and the queen has nowhere to go other than h3, okay? So there's a couple of things that can happen, all right? Um, we'll start with the queen going straight to h3, okay? The queen goes to h3, all together now, the best move in chess, Bishop takes f7 check, and look, right? The king can't capture the bishop. If this king captures that, that bishop, knight to g5 is a royal fork, yeah? He's royally, royally forked. But it doesn't get any better if he goes here, um, then you capture with the rook on there, or even you can just capture with, with the bishop and then win the rook as well. Um, black can't defend because you just have the bishop as well for T. Um, it's just absolutely horrible. So ev everything here is 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 just horrible, okay? So um, if king d8, again, you've got bishop here with check, um, and really the king can only go there because again, if he takes the bishop, we have the royal fork on king and queen. So it's absolutely horrendous. Okay, for, for black, whatever, pretty much whatever happens from this point. So basically, if black takes that, that pawn, it's a horrendous trap and he's going to lose. Okay, so there's, what, there's a, an alternative that, that black could do here, which is um, instead of moving the queen away immediately, to capture the knight on d2 with check. Now, here you have to tread very carefully. It might be tempting, for example, to capture the bishop, but this is dead lost because the knight was defending the rook, okay? So you can't do that, okay? So um, what if you capture the bishop with the queen? Well, the queen was defending the knight. So again, you've, you know, you're, I mean, you're doing okay, actually, still, even at this point, but there's no reason to give up that material. So what you, the move that you do is you delay recapturing the bishop. You put your king on e2 to get out of check. And now the problem, again, is in black's court. Black has to move the queen here. Then you capture the bishop, right? Then let's say black very sensibly decides he wants to castle. Okay. And what do we do? As always, <laughs> bishop takes f7 check. Because when the queen's on h3 here, right, and the knight's there, the king really can't capture capture here, right? So again, if he goes there, um, it goes there, you actually capture the rook on, on here, okay? And um, this is a gorgeous little trap, okay? If the knight then captures your hanging pawn, right, you sacrifice your queen on g5. Right, so black's in check, um, 
there's only two legal moves. Either knight takes queen, right, or the knight blocks again on f6. The knight blocks on f6, you capture his mate. If the knight takes the queen, look at that. Gorgeous checkmate, yeah? So, absolutely stunning. So, what have we, we've covered quite a few lines already. Um, okay, so queen moves here, you recapture, knight comes out. Okay, I've got another. Yeah, basically anything anything the king tries to do at this point is, is just dead lost. Anyway, so we've looked at uh, queen h3, bishop h7, yep. Um, and now let's move on then to this line because there's another kind of lovely force checkmate here. Okay, so we'll just recap. Queen moves away, you grab the bishop, knight comes out, you capture. And what if the king uh, comes to e7? All right, this is the next one. So king e7, uh, then you can recapture with a rook, okay. Yeah, so this is the um, so this is an alternative route with the king there. So um, you can move the bishop with a discovered check. So now the knight doesn't have time to uh, capture your queen. Okay, the king is forced to move to one of these squares. Okay, so let's say um, of course here we've still got a knight there as well. So let's say king comes here. You then capture the knight. Okay, and that king is now looking super exposed and also actually at the risk of a royal fork again. So someone's going to have to move. If the queen comes up, check with the bishop, giving up the bishop. And if the queen captures, right, you've got this lovely queen h6 check. And we actually have a ladder mate situation right in the middle of the board. Okay, uh, king has to move, doesn't matter, rook comes down here. And uh, there's only one move now, king e4, and then queen h4 is checkmate again. So, yeah, just absolutely ghastly for black. But if you can get these, you know, these these traps in, um, it's so tempting for people to fall into. If you go on Lee Chess and, and analyze how many times these traps have been seen, you know, this stuff really happens, guys. So, um, yeah, it just it just gets worse and worse for black with the Danish and, you know, this is amazing for me because I, I never realized all, all these traps were here um, when I started playing it. But even so, I'll just quickly go on um, on the Explorer and we'll, we'll, we'll see what my record is with the Danish Gambit. It's, um, if E takes D4, all games got a 58 to 38 win rate, even in Rapid, yeah? 67% win rate if they go here. And if we get the full Danish, right, with C takes B2, 71% win weight win rate in rapid compared to 28 for black, right? And that's that's before I knew all this extra secret stuff that, that I've been looking up and sharing with you guys. So really, really cool. The sex doesn't stop, carries on and on. Um, so hope you're enjoying this. Thanks for watching. See you soon.